In this video, I'll show you how to connect to your home network from anywhere using OpenVPN. We'll be using an OpenWRT router for the setup. First, we need to download the software needed. So search and download and install OpenVPN. When the installer loads, make sure you click on where it says customize, then scroll down and enable the feature where it says certificate management scripts. Then install PuTTY so we can SSH into the router. Then we just need to install Notepad. If you have an IP address that changes, we'll need a dynamic DNS service so that you can always access your connection via a hostname like myhost.net. The router will then always update this hostname with your latest IP address. For this tutorial, we'll use the noip.com service. On there, you can set up a hostname for free. Okay, if you access your router's interface and then click on system and then software, click the update lists button. Then search for ddns, install the ddns-scripts package, then install the noip package as well. Then the Lucy ddns package. Now if you open putty and then just ssh into your router. So my router's IP address is 192.168.100.1. .1. Yours might be just 1.1. .1. Now type opkg update to update the package list. All the commands and configs are in the description of this video. Now type opkg install and then these package names. Now we just need to set up the open VPN config. So first just clear the contents of the default config using the angle chevron bracket. And then it's forward slash etc forward slash config forward slash open VPN. Now type nano and then that same path so we can edit the file. Then go to the description of this video and copy the open VPN server config and then paste it into nano just by right clicking and it should paste the config in there. The only bits we need to check on this config is just, just the port I'm using 7500 and then the root of the internal LAN subnet. So in this tutorial my IP range is 192.168.100 yours might be 192.168.1 so change this if yours differs the option redirect gateway would make your internet traffic route through your home's internet connection so if you wanted to use the internet connection of your home on your mobile device then just keep this option if you only want to access your home devices without routing the internet traffic you can just remove this this option can also be done from the client side as well okay then press ctrl s and then ctrl x to save and quit nano on my setup, the OpenVPN service started before everything else on the router was ready, so I had to delay the OpenVPN service when the router booted up. So in putty type nano space forward slash etc forward slash init.d forward slash OpenVPN, then press Ctrl and W to search, and then type in start underscore service. So on the first line of this function, if you just add in sleep 10, and then press Ctrl S and then Ctrl X to save. Now just go back to the router web interface and just reboot the router. Now if you have a static IP, you can skip this section. This is for updating the dynamic DNS service no IP, as I mentioned earlier. Just click on services and then dynamic DNS. So scroll down and click the edit button next to the IPv4 section. So the local host name is the host name that you've set up on no IP. Example, open VPN test one dot D DNS dot net. Then change the ddns service provider to noip.com in my case. The domain field, this is again the host name, so openvpn test1.ddns.net. The username for noip, this is the email address that was used to create the account. And then the password is just the account password. Then click on save. Then click save and apply. And now just click the reload button. Now if I go back to noip.com and refresh the page, you can see that the host name has updated with my router's current IP address. And then refreshing the page back on the router, this should also display the current IP. Sometimes you have to reload and refresh a couple of times, but as long as it's updated on noip.com, you know it's worked and updated correctly. Now click VPN and open VPN. Click edit and then scroll down. And we just need to generate and add the VPN security certificates. So go to Windows Explorer and on the C drive, if you go into program files, open VPN and easy dash RSA, then just click the path in the address bar. Just right click and copy. We just need this for later. 
then right click the easy RSA file and then just click edit with notepad. We just need to make the certificate expiry a bit longer. So search for easy RSA underscore rec underscore country. Click find a few times and get to where it says province, city, etc. Then scroll down to CA expire. I'll change this and cert expire to 9000 days. Then if you just save this. Now if you just go to the Windows Start menu and type Command Prompt, we just need to start this as Administrator, so if you just right click the shortcut and then click Run as Administrator. Now in the prompt if you type CD space and then right click and paste the path from earlier, or you can type the path in manually. And when you're in the Easy RSA directory, type Easy RSA and then dash start, then type Easy RSA space init dash PKI. Now type easy rsa space build dash ca space no pass. Then where it asks for a common name, if you just type server in there. Again, all these commands are in the description of this video. Now type easy rsa space build dash server dash full and then space server underscore site a and then space no pass. Then type yes when prompted. Now type easy rsa space build dash client dash full space client underscore site a space no pass. Again type yes to confirm when prompted. Now type easy rsa space gen dash dh. This bit can take a while to generate. So once this is done all the certificates and keys should be in a, a pki folder within the easy rsa directory. The directory issued is the public certificates the directory private is the private keys. Now if you go back to the router web interface, then click open VPN. Click edit on the open VPN config. So we now need to upload these certificates and keys. Scroll to CA and then upload the four files from the PKI folder. So upload CA, then upload DH, then upload the public certificate and then upload the private key. So once uploaded, select each one. So select the CA, select the DH, select the public certificate, and then select the private key. Then click save and apply. Now go back to the open VPN main menu and you should see the VPN server is now active. So now go to network and then firewall. For the LAN zone, click edit. Then click advanced. Now under covered devices, select the TUN Road Warrior interface that should now be displayed. Now click save and then click save and apply. So still within firewall, go to the traffic rules. Now scroll down and click add. In the name, just put open VPN. The source zone, select one. The destination zone, select device. The destination port type, 7500 to 7505. This is just if you have any, any further VPNs you need set up. Now click save, and then click save and apply. We now need to create the client's open VPN config file. So go to Windows Explorer, then go to the folder options. So for Windows 7, press the Alt key and then click Tools and then Folder Options. For Windows 11, just click the three dots and select Folder Options. Now click the View tab and then untick the Option Hide extensions for known file types. Now click OK, then go to your Documents folder and then right click, uh, select New and then Text Document. Then just type a, a file name for this client config. Then make sure you just put .ovpn at the end of that. Now if you right click that file and then select edit with notepad, or if you're in Windows 11 just click show more options and then click edit with notepad. Now we need to copy the client config from the video description and paste that into notepad as shown. So you will get the initial options and then you'll have three sections for the CA certificate and then the key. Now at the top if you just edit the remote hostname this can either be your IP address or the host name that you set up earlier from noip.com. So in my example it'll be openvpntest1.ddns.net.
if you didn't specify the redirect gateway def1 from when you set up the server config, you can choose whether to use it from the client side as well. So I'll, I'll just uncomment it here, but it, it won't make a difference with it being in the server config as well. So now we need to paste the bits from the certificate files and the key files that we generated earlier. So if you go to Windows Explorer, go to the C drive, program files, open VPN, easy RSA, and then that PKI folder. So if you right click the CA file and then open that with notepad. So now copy the begin and end sections and then paste that into your new client config file and then do the same for the certificate. So if you go back to the PKI folder, then open the issued folder and then right click the client side A certificate file and then open that with notepad. Then scroll down and copy the begin to end section again and then paste that to the cert section of that new config file. So then do the same for the private key. So open the private folder from the PKI folder and then right click where it says client site dot key and then open that with notepad. Again, copy the begin to end section and paste that into the key section of the new config file. And then just save that new config file. And now we'll copy and paste that config file onto our mobile device. I'm using an Android device, so I'll just paste it into the main folder, the internal storage folder. So now on the mobile device, if you go to the Play Store, then search and download the Open VPN application. So ensure your mobile device is on a mobile data network and not the same network as your home connection. So just turn the Wi-Fi off to test. So once Open VPN is opened on the phone, click the Upload File button and then click Browse. Now select My Files and then select Internal Storage. Select the client config.ovpn file that you copied over to the phone then click done and then click OK to import. Now click on connect and this should connect to your open WRT router home connection. To test you can download a ping application and try pinging your home router. So my IP would be 192.168.100.1 so you may have 192.168.1.1 so you can see now it's successfully pinging my internal network from my mobile data connection. If you are experiencing trouble pinging computers on your desktop at home, it may be that Windows does not allow the ping protocol from other subnets. So you can try adding the OpenVPN's subnet to allow the ping through. If you access control panel on your desktop computer and then click Windows Firewall, then click Advanced Settings, then click Inbound Rules. So if you scroll down and locate where it says File and Printer Sharing IC MPv4, make sure this is for the private domain and also make sure your network is classed as private and not a public network. Now click on scope and then add the subnet from the open VPN server config. So in my example on the server config it was 10.100.0.0 and then just add forward slash 24 as well. You can also temporarily disable the Windows firewall just to see if it is a desktop firewall restriction that's that's blocking the ping from coming through. So on this desktop I can also ping my mobile device now on 10.100.0.2. So you can tell it's connected through the mobile data network as my ping is quite high. So I hope this guide helps you. Thanks a lot.